Hello there guys, it is Don't Chew on Chewy here and we're back with another tutorial and today's tutorial is a small crane. I think it's only 9 long, I think it's a 3x9 crane. I think it's 3x9x9 nine by nine, which is kind of insane in my opinion. I'll make sure to put the actual dimensions in the title. But let's crack on with the build and today we're doing things a bit differently. I'm using default texture pack as you can see. Also, I'm going to tell you what materials you need. So these are optional at the end, which I'll show you at the end. But for this build, you're going to need 14 logs, 5 spruce slabs, 4 stone bricks, 22 stone brick stairs, 10 cobble walls, 16 fences, 1 stone brick stair, and another stone brick slab. We're going to need 1 trap door, and this means 3 to 7 iron bars is what I'd recommend for kind of the crane bit that comes down and holds and supports things up. So, let's crack on with the build. So we're going to build on this kind of beaten up little path where the crane could sit. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to place nine logs going up. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're going to place all our logs straight away. And to do that, we're going to place two out the back. So where you want the back to be, you're going to place two logs sticking out like this. And then come to your eighth block, place two logs and go diagonal one like this. And that's all your logs for the main build, not including the extra bits. So, now we need to support the crane, so we're going to take our stone brick stairs and just curve them around the whole structure, like this. And then we're going to put a upside down stair and then a right way up stair on all sides, like this. Now we're going to place four stone bricks on the back end, like this. And then stone stairs to make a circular shape. And this is going to be the counterweight for our crane. So that the crane, when it's picking up ores, it's not just going to topple over and, and kill somebody when they're in the mine. Because that is like a catastrophe. And the, the insurance, if they had life insurance, would be out of this world. But now we're going to place a stair where we just place this weight. One stone slab. And then five spruce wood slabs like this and this is where our arm kind of thing is going to come down okay so let's put these cobblestone walls here like this you're going to place one here one here one here and then one here and then two like this we're going to put stairs in between these I mean, uh, not stairs, I mean f uh, wood fences, like this. And this just makes it look even more supported, make it look even more like it's not going to fall over, and it just kind of covers up the logs so it's not just one plain colour. We're going to place our final stone brick stair here, like so. And we're going to place four fences on our blocks from behind, and we're going to just finish up with a trap door like that and this is the basic shape of the crane uh, you you will want to take your iron bars up though and as i said you can go three down uh, i'm gonna go about five yeah i'll go five down like so and then you can have like a pallet on the end so something maybe a bit like this like a hook so you can have something like a hook like that or you could possibly, if I can find my spruce wood, or you could possibly, I've seen some people do this on the Heroes of Extra server, which is pretty cool, is you can have kind of a big pallet like this. Totally up to you what you do with that. And then you can like stick, you know, some oars or some logs on it, just like this, you know. Kind of deal like this. Kind of looks a bit weird when you do that, but whatever so that's basically the main base of the crane now for the optional bit this is just to make it look more realistic so we're going to need five oak logs eight stone bricks four spruce stairs one spruce slab uh, two buttons and 20 iron bars it's very material intensive you build this in survival with the iron bars it's kind of nuts that's like 18 iron at least that's kind of insane. But I think in the end it's worth it. So let's take up our materials. We're going to need iron bars, logs, 
rocks. We're going to need stone bit ends and spruce wood stairs and spruce wood slabs. And there we go. So this is just going to be a cog at the back, so you could turn the head. So this is kind of the resource friendly one, it looks okay. But this is just to make it look more realistic. And we're going to actually come off the little path here. So what you're going to do at first is you're going to place a stair here. Of any wood choice, totally up to you. You're going to place logs in this formation. Two sticking out the sides of this one. And now we're going to wood stair up like this, and this is our four wood stairs. Then wood slab on top, like so. And now we're going to take up our stone bricks, and you had forgot something. And we're going to place stone bricks on each side of the exposed log here, like so. And we're going to place our stone buttons here. You might actually remember this if you watched my old crane tutorial. This was the same one I used there to control the head on my larger crane. We're going to place four iron bars here. And we're going to place four up here as well. And now we're going to need to build these up to the head of our crane. I swear to god, Esset Antivirus, he does it on purpose. My, my, so I have, I have Esset Antivirus. I'll talk while I do this. And instead of coming up kind of at the bottom, so like where the time is, it, it decides to come up every single time right in the middle of my screen. I really hope that hasn't fucked up the recording or else I'm going to be pissed. But basically that is it. That is the uh, crane build. And so this, the idea of this is, you know, you would turn the wheel and it, it would turn the head and so on and so forth. Or at least that's how I think it'd work. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Let me know in the comment section below. So, um, to answer a few comments, because the comment section is totally done goofed, and if you don't have Google+, Plus, um, yeah, you can't get your comments replied to, which sucks. So, somebody said uh, that one of my videos was a bit laggy. I'm very sorry for that. I've tried to fix it this video. I've turned my uh, graphics down to normal. And I've turned Bob off. I don't know if that's going to make a difference, but I've ran a lot better FPS this episode. So let me know if there's any lag issues on YouTube this time as well. It could just be YouTube. Who knows? Um, someone asked me to start doing this, and I have, I'm going to think I'm going to start doing this on smaller builds like this. Of course, if it's a large build, I won't. And finally... Someone told me to stop talking as much at the beginning, so I really tried to speed it up this time. So I hope you are happy with me speeding it up. Again, let me know in the comment section below. Any criticism that isn't like you're a bastard or anything like that, it's always welcomed. Anything that I can make better for your viewing experience, I will definitely try my best to do it. So anyway, that's been this tutorial, and let me know if you like uh, the idea of this chest here in the middle. I'll quickly show you it in Conquest. I think it looks okay in Conquest. But, as I'm showing you in these texture packs, make sure to comment down below of what you think of the new setup. What, if you think I should build more in default, or stick to texture packs, totally up to you. Now I'm lagging. Um, thanks, Conquest. Um, yeah, so let me know if you want me to build in default more. I, I'll, I'll be more than happy to do so. I've grown a real respect for it recently. Make sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Come on, how small is this? If you just take away that cog, this is tiny. This is tiny. Uh, make sure to leave a like for the, the sheer size, or lack of size, of this build. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I've got a really, in my opinion, awesome tutorial plan for next week. I'm really trying hard to work on it. It's like the clock tower, and I know how much you guys like that clock tower. 2,000 views. It's got amazing. So get ready for that next week, and it'll hopefully be out. If not, it will be very, very soon. So make sure to subscribe if you like the clock tower. Um, <laughs> that's a bit awkward. You make sure to subscribe if you like the clock tower. And as always, leave your suggestions for other builds. I'll always do what you guys want first. If you guys want a house, I'll do a house next week. It's totally up to you. I hope to see you guys next week where, when there will definitely be a video on Thursday or Wednesday. You guys have been awesome, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.